In this video, let's learn about the superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery mainly supplies the jejunum, ilium, and the ascending colon up to the right two-third of the transverse colon. So it mainly supplies the jejunum, ilium, cecum appendix, the ascending colon up to the right two-third of the transverse colon. Now let's talk about the origin. It arises from the abdominal iota that is behind the body of the pancreas and nearer to its neck and at the level of the L1 vertebrae that is about half inch below to the origin of the celiac trunk. So this is the origin of the celiac trunk and it's half inch or the 1.2 centimeter below to the origin of the celiac trunk. So it originates from the front of aorta so this is the superior mesenteric artery that originates at the l1 level of vertebrae this is the origin now let's talk about the course from its origin it runs downwards into the right side passing in front of the uncinate process of the pancreas and then in front of the third part of the duodenum so this is the third part of the duodenum and then it enters the root of the mesentery where it runs between the two layers of the mesentery and then it terminates into the right iliac fossa by anastomosing with a branch of the iliocolic artery and throughout its course the superior mesentric artery is accompanied by the superior mesentric vein on its right side so it terminates in the right iliac fossa by the anastomosis that takes place near the iliocolic artery. In this diagram, this is the ilium, the appendix, the cecum. These are the ileal branches and these are the jejunal branches. This is the origin of the inferior mesenteric artery, IMA. This is a branch that is the inferior pancreatico duodenal artery. This is a middle colic artery the right colic artery and this is the iliocolic. So now let's discuss the relations. Anteriorly from above it is related to the body of the pancreas and the splenic vein and posteriorly from above it is related to the left renal vein, the uncinate process of the pancreas and the third part of the duodenum. The third part of the duodenum, the inferior vena cava that is the IVC and the right ureter so the posterior relations now let's talk about its branches the superior mesenteric artery gives five branches the first one is the inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery the second one is the middle colic the third branch is the right colic artery the fourth branch is the iliocolic artery and the fifth branch is the jejunal and the ileal branches. All the branches of the superior mesenteric artery arises from the right side except the jejunal and ileal branches which arises from the left side. So these are the jejunal and the ileal branches which arise from the left side. And now let's talk about each and every branch of the superior mesenteric artery. The first branch is the inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery. In this diagram, this is the pancreatic or duodenal artery and here this is the first branch that is the inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery it arises from the right side of the upper border of the horizontal part of the duodenum and it soon divides into the anterior and the posterior divisions which run in the pancreatic or duodenal groove and they enter by anastomosing with the anterior and posterior branches of the superior pancreatic or duodenal artery it anastomoses with the superior pancreatic or duodenal artery. So this inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery is the first branch of the superior mesenteric artery. And the second branch is the middle colic artery. In this diagram, this is the middle colic artery. So this middle colic artery arises from the right side that is just below to the pancreas. As you can see it here, this middle colic artery arises just below to the pancreas 
and it runs upwards and forward to pass between the two layers of the transverse mesocolon and it divides into the right and left branches. So you can see the division of the right and left branches. This is the right branch and the left branch. The right branch anastomose with the ascending branch of the right colic artery below. This is the third division of the superior mesenteric artery that is the right colic artery. So the right branch of the middle colic artery anastomose with the ascending branch of the right colic artery and the left branch anastomose with the ascending branch of the left colic artery that is a branch of the inferior mesenteric artery. For a video on the inferior mesenteric artery you can click on the i button. So this is about the middle colic artery that is the second branch of the superior mesenteric artery. It arises below to the pancreas and it divides into the right and left branches. The right branch anastomose with the ascending branch of the right colic artery that is here and the left branch anastomose with the ascending branch of the left colic artery that means here and this left colic artery is the branch of the inferior mesenteric artery. Now coming to the third branch that is the right colic artery. This is the third branch that is the right colic artery. It arises from the right side and it divides into the ascending and descending branches. The ascending branch anastomose with the right branch of the middle colic artery and the descending branch anastomose with the ascending branch of the iliocolic artery. So this is the fourth branch that is the iliocolic artery. The descending branch anastomose with the ascending branch of the iliocolic artery. In this anastomosis form the beginning of the marginal artery of the drum mound. So this is very important. This anastomosis between the descending branch of the right colic artery and the ascending branch of the iliocolic artery. This forms the beginning of the marginal artery of drum mound. Branch and the fourth branch is the iliocolic artery. This is the iliocolic artery. It is the lowest branch arising from the right side and it runs downwards and to the right and it divides into the ascending and the descending branches. As we already know, the ascending branch anastomose with the descending branch of the right colic artery and the descending branch or the inferior branch anastomose with the terminal end of the superior mesenteric artery. So this is the anastomosis with the terminal end of the superior mesenteric artery and the iliocolic artery also gives three branches. Those are the anterior and posterior cecal arteries. So this is the descending branch of the iliocolic artery and it also gives rise to three arteries, gives rise to anterior and posterior cecal arteries. That means they supply to the cecum, the appendicular artery, that means they supply the appendix and the ileal branch to the terminal part of the ileum. As its location is nearer to the cecum, appendix and the ileum, this descending branch of the iliocolic artery gives an anterior and posterior cecal artery, an appendicular artery for the appendix and an ileal branch for the terminal part of the ileum. And now coming to the last branch that is the jejunal or ileal branch. These branches are the jejunal and ileal branches and these branches are in about 12 to 15 in number and they arise from the convex left side of the superior mesenteric artery. They pass between the two layers of the mesentery of the small intestine. So they pass between the mesentery and they branches anastomose with each other to form a series of arterial arcades. So these arterial arcades form further branches and from there the second, third, fourth and even fifth arterial arcades are formed. And remember the number of these arcades are increased from the part of the jejunum to the ileum and the straight branches of these arterial arcades are called as the vasa recta. You should remember it. In these vasa recta those are arised from these arcades pass on to either side of the small intestine and they supply the small intestine. And remember these vasa recta are very much longer and less in number in the jejunum while compared to the ileum. So remember the whole small intestine proper that is the jejunum and the ileum 
are supplied by the jejunal and ileal branches of the superior mesenteric artery but whereas the terminal part of the ileum is supplied by the iliocolic artery and now let's talk about the distribution of the superior mesenteric artery the superior mesenteric artery is the artery of the midgut and hence it supplies all the derivatives of the midgut lower half of the duodenum that is by the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery and this lower half means below to the opening of the hepatopancreatic duct the jejunum the ileum cecum appendix the ascending colon right two third of the transverse colon and the lower half of the head of the pancreas so these are the derivatives of the midgut and these derivatives of the midgut are supplied by the superior mesenteric artery so guys this is all about the superior mesenteric artery if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists